Texas Chili Parlor opened its doors in 1976, serving up classic bowls of Texas Red. The walls drip with stories, and also dust, but that just adds to the flavor and character of one of the oldest true chili joints in Texas. And given its proximity to politics, it's become a secondary conference room for capital decision makers. And who better to dine with than Senator Kirk Watson, who knows a thing or two about both politics and chili. Well, we better order some chili before. Okay. Well, it is called the Chili Parlor, although I would argue that the enchiladas here may be the best in Austin or they're in the top three. Senator Watson would know. He served as Austin's mayor for two terms and represented Austin in the Senate for 14 years, although he recently stepped away from politics to serve in education. And hey, since you don't have to worry about re-election, where do you stand on the beans versus no beans argument? Well, that, that has nothing to do with the political position. You don't put beans in chili. That is a deep philosophical position. That's not a political position. Of course, they offer different kinds of heat on that chili. Okay. I've never admitted it privately, publicly, and certainly not on camera. But that triple X chili, um, it really tastes like fire that can get you messy. Part of the reason is because it numbs your mouth and you kind of something pours out of the side. <laughs> I've never been scared of a bowl of chili. And no matter the heat level you pick, well, they'll put it in a bowl, on a dog, or even a spud. And we've gone double X with a little tester of the triple for fun. All right. Let's toast it. Cheers. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Never toasted a chili bowl. I well, like that. you might as well. <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. It's chunks of, chi of, of meat. Look how thick and rich that gravy is. Yeah, it's great. Oh, oh it's unbelievable. I can filibuster this chili. <laughs> As a man who understands Austin better than most, I want to pick the senator's brain on balance. So what's the balance between Austin and the Capitol? I mean, this is the, the seat of government. This is our Lone Star Capitol. And then you got this creative city building around it. Well, you know, sometimes that balance is, is difficult to hold, in part because the politics ends up being different. I mean, for the longest time, I think, Politics were the lifeblood of Austin. I mean, politics in the university, right? I mean, yeah, that, that was the economy. Essentially. And what happened, in my view, is that the, the global economy started shifting to where the mind, imagination, and creativity, that became the, the asset. Yeah. And when that occurred, people could go anywhere they wanted to go. And that's what caused us to transition into a technology economy. Totally makes sense. And so Austin needs to always make sure it celebrates being the capital. And of course, I think that those in the capital that come from all over the state need to also celebrate that Austin's a special place that is a big part of what is Texas. Well said. One last question. Sure. Are you going to try that chili with me? No, I, 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 I know better, <laughs> but I sure would like to see you eat Oh, some. no. Man, that just looks like death sauce. That ain't bad. I'm proud of you. That ain't bad. No, I think I need that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but. Well, now you, now you. All right. I don't know, I don't, either you're the best actor I ever saw and you've now I'm, convinced I'm me. I'm going straight for the gravy now. You know, may, maybe I've, I've matured. You know, here's what's sad. I've been denying myself. I thought it was hotter than it was. <laughs> the last time I ate it, I couldn't hardly, but that's great. That's delicious. Yeah. We're getting more text in every yeah, second yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Come on. Either, either that or I'm getting old enough my taste buds are just gone. <laughs> it just goes to show that you can live in Austin for years and still find surprises.